Hey guys, I'm giving back here for that video guys today. Welcome back to the episode of Market Monday because guys, this is probably the most important Market Monday we're going to have going through right now, like the beginning of the year, okay? Because we are now finally about to get two huge promos in the game. Yes, we had AKA. Yes, we had Campus Hero. But now, right now, this is the big boys, guys. We get Team of the Week preseason. And doubling that, we also get the ultimate kickoff promo coming out Wednesday and Thursday of this week. Now, why is that important? What does that mean for the market? What's going to happen? Let's go ahead and break it down. So starting off right away... The preseason Team of the Week promo is going to be a one-time thing. It's going to be a one-release promo. It's not going to be multiple releases. You don't have to worry about, you know, like, the market completely destroyed and, you know, getting molly whopped here because it's only one-time release. But at the same time, though, we're going to get probably 390 overall cards with that and a lot of 86s, a lot of 84s, and a lot of 83s. These cards are going to be budget beasts. But what they're also going to do is flood the market with those overalls. That's going to bring down the price of a lot of base elite items. And again, main reason why. Because now the base elites have someone something to compare to. And because you're going to have people pulling these, you know, team of the week preseason cards. It's just going to bring down the other cards, the other, other prices of the cards immensely down. So I'm going to tell you right now, if you are waiting to buy a car, you're waiting to buy a team, hold up, pump the brakes, wait a minute, do not buy anything yet. Again, that's number one. Number two, again, we're getting hit like back-to-back -back fire here, guys. We got the Ultimate Kickoff promo also releasing. And this last season, for example, gave us two limited time 90 overalls. And then it gave us a total of four 90 overalls too. So keep that in mind. We're going to get a lot of 90s. With that also being said, we get a crap ton 87 overalls for the ultimate kickoff promo. I mean, you can see as I'm going down here, there's a lot of 87s. There's a lot of 85s. There's a lot of 82s, 81s, 79s, etc. Keep in mind, there's going to be multiple releases of this promo. That means every single week, we're getting flooded with new cards. A lot of new cards. So if you have a God Squad right now, or let's say you're like thinking about building a God Squad, pump the brakes. I mean, it almost to a point where I say, you know, hit that brake and just lock up your system. Because you don't want to do it, any of that right now. You're going to see all these prices, these cards come down because so many people are going to be flooding the auction house with these cards. You got to keep in mind, once preseason season week packs come out, there's going to be so many people opening up those bundles left, right, and center. We already know from EA Sports' history with Madden this year, any bundle that comes out, any promo comes out, the $100 bundle guarantees you a master, guarantees you a champion player. Guarantees you set completion players. They pretty much at this point of this and this even in this part of the year, EA Sports has made it very clear. You want the best cards, spend a hundred dollars, you get yourself a full guaranteed legend. You want a hundred you want uh, a full campus hero, spend a hundred dollars. You want a full, you know, ultimate kickoff guy, spend a hundred dollars. You know, etc. Right? They have shown this year so far that they are okay with just kind of, you know, cashing out and you know, saying whatever, like they don't care. So whatever, whenever these cards come out, again, we're right now projected Wednesday and Thursday are going to be these releases. There's going to be so many people who buy those $100 bundles, get those toppers of the full guaranteed player, and they're going to sell them. And that's going to bring down the price of those cards. They're probably going to be around 300,000 coins. Which means every card underneath of those cards is going to slowly come down too. Limited edition cards will not. That's the only exception. Only time limited edition cards will come down in price is when Series Redux drops. Which at this moment in time, we won't get that part of Season 2. So you don't have to worry about limited edition cards. But non-limited edition cards, yeah, you're going to want to, you know, kind of 
look around, right? Now, I'm not saying this be meaning so, so go sell your team, right? Go sell your team right now, get rid of your cards, because at the end of the day, because of EA tax, by the time you sell your team, and let's say you sell a player, I don't know, for 100,000 coins, you sell him, get rid of him, and now, you know, let's say you get back 90,000, right? You, uh, whatever. That when the new cards come out, that said card might only go down like 10 15k, so you're not actually making really profit by selling that card, right? You might break even or just be spending the same amount before. So, there's never really a reason anymore to sell your team. I mean, yes, if there was a crazy plummet in the market, and the only time we will ever see this is if, like, for example, if there's a fire fantasy pack. It's the Blitz promo, you know, there's something crazy going on in my, and they're really just trying to, like, unload the market, then yes. But mostly, we're, you're never going to really have to sell your team again. There is times where, like this, while I say pump the brakes, don't buy cards, don't go after cards, do not upgrade your team until these promos drop. But at this moment in time, no. I'm not saying to sell your team, get rid of any cards. I'm just saying if you're thinking about upgrading, just wait a minute. Do not buy any cards because it's not going to be worth it. You're going to get whatever you want now cheaper once these cards drop into the game. And again, we're going to see a total of most likely with the two limited edition cards. My guess is we're probably going to get two limited edition cards with this promo. It'll probably be two different releases because uh, we already know it's going to be multi-release. And we're probably going to get a limited edition with the first release and a limited edition with the second release. Which means, again, we're going to see, what, two... Four, five, five with the first release, five nineties with team of the week release. At least there, we get the offense, defense, captain, and limited time card. That's eight ninety overalls by the end of this week, with a immense amount of eighty sevens from eighty to eighty sevens. So all those base elites riding high right now, one hundred sixty thousand, one hundred seventy thousand. They're not gonna plummet like down to like nothing. But they will probably all take at least a 10-20% hit on price tags. And then obviously as more cards come out, they'll keep on going down. Once release 2 comes out, we get even more limited edition cards. Slash, you know, ultimate kickoff cards. It's just going to it's triple down. This is happens every single year, guys. That's why I always say, you know, whenever you buy a card in Mutt, it's pretty much like buying a brand new car off the lot. The second you drive off the lot, that card, that car automatically depreciates in value, and it's not worth what you paid for. And that's just how Mutt works, right? There's sometimes where prices go back up, and you're able to, you know, take advantage of that. And it is what it is. But for right now, we're gonna so we're gonna see our first market shift of the year true market shift i will say rookie premiere was a market shift but i think this is gonna be a real market shift i'll see you guys in the next one peace